Is he the best player in the NBA? Is he is he a, already a top 10 all-time great? Is he going to win the MVP this year? Tell me how you're feeling about Steph Curry, Wardell. Curry. That's his name, Wardell. Curry. Yeah, War, we gonna call him Wardell because you gotta yeah. you gotta respect the man. Call him his first name. Yeah, bro. Listen, Wardell is the best player in the NBA. Whew. He also is going to finish as a top ten basketball player to ever play the game. Mm. And he should be the league MVP this year. Now, it's a long way to go, and things happen. But he ain't slowing down. And, Perk, listen, I think – I, you know, I posed this question to you a couple of weeks ago, man. We get enamored with 6'8", 260, because that's who LBJ is. We get enamored with 6'6", because that's who Jordan was. Kobe, 6'6". I asked you, does Steph Curry's stature keep him out of – the best player in the NBA conversation. And you said, yes. And I asked you the question, how? We watching him. We watching him do this night in and night out. We've already gone past the greatest shooter. He the greatest shooter ever to play in the NFL. I mean, <laughs> the, the NBA. No. We got to start having a conversation about Wardell being the best player. Cause look, KD, and, and I know, I know NBA conversations, they get crazy because then we, people gonna talk about, well, what about defense? Bro, that he don't even need to play no defense. He his offense is defense. His we'll offense is defense. Cause he yes. gonna force you, he gonna force your team to play a different way on the other end of the floor. That's number one. <laughs> I know you did. Hey, hey, look, don't don't give them too much of that. I can't like that. Be, what you right, just I'm said? Get, Hold on, no, no, say that. Nah, for real though. Say that again. He go do Steph, what? Steph, offensive prowess forces you to play offense differently. He's gonna take you out of what you want to do offensively, because what you want to do offensively is get easy buckets, and easy buckets mean two points, and you made it. You may be down forty. Scoring two pointers. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go beyond it, Perk, because you know X is no, you already know. You know, I'd be ready to go in on basketball. Listen, bro, we got to stop using, we got to stop thinking about Steph Curry's stature. We got to stop thinking about he wasn't a brand name in high school. We got to stop thinking about he didn't go to a big D1 college or he didn't go straight to the NBA out of high school. Bro, we got to start accepting what we seeing. Steph Curry on this trend, already a two-time MVP, by the way, Perk, already an NBA champion, already the greatest shooter to ever play the game. The numbers say it as well. Why don't we have the conversation about Steph Curry being the best NBA player right now? Why don't we do that? Because he is it because he's not 6'11 like KD? Is it because he don't have brute force like LeBron James? Listen, bro, right now today, and you know how crazy I am about LeBron James. LeBron James, to me, the greatest player to ever play in the NBA. All right? I ain't about to debate that with nobody. That's how I feel. You feel yeah, how you feel yeah, for yeah. whoever you feel like that about. Yes, yeah, and if you don't feel that way, shame on you. Keep going. Shame on you. Steph Curry right now is the best player in the NBA, Perk. I'm going to give you the floor. I, I need all Warrior fans that are listening War to hold tight to what I'm about to say right now. I can't disagree with you. Oh, I will God. not I will not disagree with you. Look, I, I believe at this moment that Kevin Durant is the best scorer in the NBA. I believe that Giannis is the most dominant player in the NBA. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to being the best player in the NBA right now, Man, I have to give that to Steph Curry. And Curry, look, come on, man. I'm, I'm not even about to talk about the, the, the obvious him knocking down threes, the obvious him being a 90-whatever-plus free throw per percent shooter. I'm not even going into that. I'm going into the other areas of his greatness on how great he is He's able to rub off on other people. And when I say That's that, listen, listen to me real quick. Andrew Wiggins is playing some of the best basketball of his career. You know why? 
Because Andrew Wiggins could play freely. You know why Andrew, Andrew Wiggins could to play him. free? Talk because of the attention that Steph Curry gets. And now we're starting to see Andrew Wiggins do Steph Curry-like things. Yep. And no to all the casuals out there. I'm not talking about shooting the ball like Steph or playing like him. We're starting to see Andrew Wiggins move well without the ball. I'm starting to see Andrew Wiggins cut and slip, pick and rolls. I'm starting to see a different type of Andrew Wiggins that I've never seen that we've been waiting on this entire time since Perfect. he was drafted. Perfect. As let, me, let me let me let me say this real quick because it's off that, and you go right back to Andrew Wiggins. Go ahead. That's exactly why I think LeBron James is the greatest player to ever play the game. Oh, we, we, that, yes. that's exactly come on. That's exactly why yeah, when Matthew Della Vadova get a fifty million dollar contract because he played with a dude. You made him that much better when Tristan Thompson get $80 million because LeBron James on this team because you played with a dude. When you see J.R. Smith, who it, New it, York it, threw it. away, LeBron bring him in and he win championship. He wasn't even supposed to be in that deal. I'm, he go was, ahead, bro. He go, wasn't even I, supposed I, to be I, the main factor in that Let's not deal. do it because we get oh, emotional about I, it. Let's I, not I, do oh, it. Go okay. back to Wardell. Yeah, go I, back to Wardell. And then now when you see Jordan Poole, doing things like slashing without the ball, shooting the three at a high level. Look, bro, coming into the season, we all knew what Steph was capable of doing. But now his leadership has went to another level. And the man down there going to get six and a half rebounds at the point guard position. The man that put on 10, 15 pounds of muscle since two years ago. The man Perfect. ain't ducking it. Can I say something controversial? Go ahead. Because we do that on this podcast. I'm not sure. I Listen to me. I'm not sure if Steph ain't as creative as Kyrie. I'm not sure about that. Now, listen, Kyrie with the basketball is unmatched. He's, I'm he's not, not saying, unmatched. I'm not saying that Steph is on that level. He's on that level. All right. All right. He, I, I wanted you to say it because when I'm watching it, I'm like, he has a string on the ball. Yes. Just like Kyrie yes, does. Yeah, bro. The, the, the same thing. And guess what? The finishing around the basket, right and left hand, is the same exact thing. So when I'm watching all this, when I'm watching all this, I'm willing to say, because look, let me tell you something. The Warriors fans, you know, two years ago, Steph had like 45 in the finals and they lost. And I just said it wasn't impactful. You know, that yeah. wasn't an impactful 45. Because he could get so, 40 a night if he wants to. Yeah, yeah, because they was down 20 and every now and then right, he was right. a little 10-0 run comeback. And so they start calling me a hater. Well, I'm here to tell y'all right now, one, I'm not a hater, I'm a realist. And the, I've come to the realization that right now, today, on November the 29th, Steph Curry is the best basketball player in the world. In the world. Don't what they want this. us to do, Perk? What yep. they, want, they want us to not acknowledge what we're seeing? I'm going what they want us to do. Although, look, I'm going – and this coming from a dark-skinned brother that when I was growing up, they had the song, you know, Badass Yellow Bone, and, and oh, yeah. a lot of dark-skinned guys, you know what I'm saying? We wanted to be light-skinned with the green eyes. We wanted the green eyes, too. We wanted it. You know it. what I'm we saying? We wanted it. We wanted the green wanted eyes, hazel. too. But, I wanted hazel. I, it's cool. <laughs> but straight up, but, but thanks to guys – Thanks to guys like, you know what I'm saying, MJ and, and Wesley yeah. Snipes, they made me Vogue again. They okay? made us sexy. So, yeah, it's, and us it's, sexy. O, it's okay, but I'm not a Steph hater. He is the best basketball player in the world. And, I'm and, glad, and we go leap, me and you both agree on that. And I think everybody else around the league, they agree on that as well. So we go in that because Perfect. I. Let, let me say this one last thing, bro. On that, because I think it's so important. We got to stop letting Wardell, Stephen Curry shooting take over all the other great stuff that he do, bro. Oh, I think I think I, he shoots so well that we don't really give credit and validity to the way he can dribble, to the way he beat people's off the dribble. Bro, I didn't see Steph break people down. 
a lot. See? But we never, we never, we never like let that sit in our spirit and register because we he hit threes all see, the time. See, see, this is this is what I like about you. See, I knew I knew you had your basketball thinking hat on when you had the LSU beanie you know on the day because it took you back to your basketball days. That's why you diving into it. Did. It, let it, it, it did. It did. And I, and I hear it. And it's all good. But we we both agree, and I think everybody else agree, even guys that's playing, that Steph Curry is the best basketball player in the world. Now, yeah, we go we go leave that at that. I'm not a hater. You're not a hater. We're just keeping it real. Table. I, look, we you know, all good things got to do what? <laughs> Uh, they gotta come to the end. I mean, you they know, got to. <laughs> it's sports, gotta man. It's they sports. Gotta, it, it, yo, but it's not even that. I'm just even talking about the part right now. You know, it's preaching. All good things have to come to an end. Amen. And so we're coming to the end, and I need you to take us home because yep. you need to dive on a specific topic, yep. right? And I yep. need you to take us home with this specific topic right now. I need you to take us home. I need you to finish strong and I need yep. you to have a message in there that people could, you know, cause somebody I need to hear you. something today. You know what I'm talking about? 